hello friends welcome to java ee jsp tutorial in this video we are going to see how to refer html file inside a jsp page so here you will learn about the page directive the page directive is include so using this include we will see how to include a html file inside a jsp page here you can see we have a file called welcome title.html so this one will define the jsp page include content and if you see here we just define only one tag paragraph tag and then for the paragraph tag we apply the style attribute here we are setting the font size after that we are setting a color for that font size then uh, the font family is arial black and text decoration we are saying underline and overline that means if this one is the text underline will be this one and overline will be this one so likewise we define a paragraph tag and in that we specify abc stores welcome you so instead of sample text we place this text so um this abc stores welcomes you will come like this with the underline and overline and with these other properties and wherever you want you can call this uh, abc stores welcomes you with uh, these properties inside a jsp file so you can even use this multiple time say for example here is our jsp file um, this will be the page directive so whenever we add the asp page um, eclipse will add this page directive and here if you see here once again we are using the page directive if you see the at the rate symbol that's what it tells it as a directive so here we use ash input here ash page and uh, i mean the at the rate page and here it is at the rate include so percentage open bracket percentage at the rate include file and this file here we are including it then this is the site content so this one is uh, just a normal html this is also a html this p tag will get included here so let's say this uh, uh, entire content if this entire content is x that content x will get added here then paragraph tag site content after that we are including this once again so here once again we get x so finally this jsp page renders x and the set of paragraph tag so this html if we say y y will be rendered here which is nothing but this page content include demo jsp page content then once again we include x so that's how it works so this is what the jsp page sends to the browser and these two x content is because of this ash include tag i mean the at the rate include tag so if if you are a c++ programmer you know how to uh, include a header file the same way here that one is ash include here uh, we have at the rate include file then we will specify the html content so you can specify uh, http url location also here 
but uh, in this example we are going to keep welcome title.html and include demo.jsp both under a same uh, directory level x and y if we say we will keep both under the same location so we are directly referring uh, welcome title in the include okay okay now it is a demo time let's go to eclipse uh, demo here if you see we have uh, eclipse already opened jsp examples how to create this um, jsp example project is already explained in the previous two video parts now we will create the html content So we have given a name for our HTML. Then here we are choosing the HTML5 template. Okay, this one suits well and we'll click on finish. So for a demo purpose, first we will see how this P tag looks. Then starting the web server. So it says started now. You can see that here also started synchronized. So I just checked whether this JSP example is already published. It is not. So I'm publishing it from available to configured. We moved it and you can see this one is uh, publishing now. Okay. Once you see deployed JSP examples that were, you can come here and check once again. You can see started so while server is started and the component component here is the JSP example web application that web application also started and both are synchronized now we will check this welcome title.html run us run on server this is just to see how the tag looks I mean p tag looks ABC stores welcomes you all right so this is the content of html now we just looked at how it looks and we don't want this body and other stuff well, because we are going to include this at uh, multiple places so i'm just defining the p tag only so here we just need only the p tag and we tap we kept a doc type as html let us save this content next we will create a jsp file and we will name this as include demo.jsp jsp with html markup that's what the template i am choosing here and then i'm clicking finish So here we are keeping a paragraph tag and if you see this is just a normal HTML content. Next we will include our HTML content that means welcome title content. So here we added one more uh, paragraph with a fixed title ABC stores welcomes you. Then we will assume that this is the body of the site and then we need this content once again let's uh, assume that towards the footer of the page and it goes like this and if you see we referred this two times here and 
this one is the directive and if you see percentage at the rate include at the rate include is the directive using this a directive we are including the content of some other html file and we are pushing this to the browser along with the html content which is part of this included demo.jsp then here once again we are taking the content of this and appending it to the whatever content already pushed to the web browser we are pushing once again here the welcome title all right now let's uh, save everything here it is saying uh, republish required since we added a new file uh, instead of doing incremental publish i will go with the full publish so it undeployed and deployed it now we can see there is no republish here uh, here we are seeing synchronized now we will run this third demo and you can see jbc stores welcomes you this is from the ash include content i mean uh, at the rate include content then actual site content goes here actual site content then once again we included it uh, the abc stores will come you so that's how this jsp uh, page is displaying so here you got an idea of how we can use the um, ash include directive so as usual these are all the scriptlet attack so it tells that we are uh, using the jsp language is java java language here we are using so the scriptlet which makes use of uh, java language all right so so far we completed three example uh, that's all here in this video um thank you for uh, watching bye